blessed be and welcome to the Circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. Now this is a very simple, um, kind of known as a freezer spell. And freezer spells are really just, they are kind of like a mild form of just stay out of my way. It's a little bit of um, stay out of my territory. And uh, they're not designed to actually hurt anyone. They're designed to keep someone away or someone off your property or someone out of your out of your sphere they're not designed to to actually uh, kill or hurt or you know, maim anyone but they are designed to make it uncomfortable for someone to be around you that it is just they just don't feel comfortable in your presence and um, have to have to leave or things just happen where you know almost like ships that pass in the night you never quite uh, meet up or you never quite um, never quite uh, connect and uh, you uh, you don't actually see them they're not in your in your space anymore and this can mean because they the person has moved away or they just have lost interest there's there's various other things but um, this specific uh, spell is just again it's a it's a starter you can add anything that you want to this and um, and again you know, people are going to do what they want to do so if you want to start being a little bit um, start going into the, the side of Malefica and start doing some uh, nasty pasty stuff then I can't stop you and um, you're going to find it anywhere but um, this here is not designed for um, you know, for hurting anyone. Um, now, the ingredients that you you will need, and this varies from from person to person. There's no one specific way to do this spell. This is one way, but there are many other ways. So the first thing is you need some kind of container. Now I've just you know, could have been a little bit more anal about how much stuff was still on there but you just need to take um, the the label off any any small jar uh, it doesn't really matter which one it is and once it's cleaned you uh, consecrate it make sure it's clean and clear or depends if you want someone to have a little bit of you know a few little bit, little bit of grieve leaves you don't want to be totally have them have a total nice day uh, just leave it the way it is it's uh, totally fine <laughs> Next thing is a little a little chili. You can get these from the supermarket. Um, they don't necessarily have to be like this. I just like this. It was quite chunky and it actually fits in in quite nicely into into here. Um, so it can be a little small chili. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. So you need a chili. You need a little bit of paper. Now again, I've used some brown paper because it is. Uh, um, this is uh, used quite a lot in the hoodoo tradition and uh, but it is it can be adapted for for any tradition it doesn't it doesn't really matter but in the hoodoo tradition it's traditional to use brown paper uh, but if you don't have any again you can get brown paper bags at the supermarket so that's not too um, expensive or, or, or pricey it just means that it's easy to get and uh, it's traditional because again brown paper was also easy to, to come by uh, back in the day um, but you can use any paper that um, that you like that you, you um, come across um, something to write with now um, I would normally use a, a pencil a, uh, a lead pencil um, but you can also use a pen I've just taken the the guts out of the pen here and uh, it's a black pen so uh, black uh, is uh, aligned with um, with satin as would be the lead pencil which is aligned with satin and it's about restricting and binding so you've got this restriction and binding with the color of, of the black we've also got a little a little knife okay and we have also we have a little bit of I uh, made this in a previous video but um, my Four Thieves uh, vinegar. Okay, and uh, it's looking quite, quite strong and potent with its uh, bits and pieces in there. And and also, if you want to go on the side of, of being a little bit uh, a little bit naughty, a little bit nasty, I also have my. Um, if you've got any children. They may uh, not want to, to hear this as the name of my, my oil is, um, and I've also put it in a nice little container. This is my uh, fuck off and die oil. 
okay? And um, it can be used at quite a different spectrum. It's got quite a few things in there that um, yeah, aren't, aren't great for your health. Uh, so it, there's, a, there's a spectrum that that oil can be used. It can be used to make someone feel uncomfortable or it can be used to make them really uncomfortable. Um, um, so that can be used um, or you can use so, uh, something else um, in, um, uh, 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 you, know, you can use something else. So we have our container, we have our little chili. So what you're going to do is firstly, you're going to have your, your piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, you will write the person's name that you want to uh, freeze. Now, the reason it's called a freezer spell is obviously because it's going to go eventually into the freezer. And this means that it stops someone in their tracks. It stops it in the tracks. Now, this can also be used for, say, like a, you know, like a bad habit or a, or a situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be for a person. Um, but it means that that... that um, situation is stopped in its track so that you may have enough time to to actually um, get a handle on the situation uh, it's it's slowed it down it's stopped it it's it's frozen it in time so that you can then um, reevaluate and look at it in in your own space in your own time so that's especially if things are going a little bit too fast for you you can put that situation and stick it in the freezer so that it you know slows time down but for this one, this can be used for um, freezing someone in their tracks, stopping them from, from coming um, closer to you, freezing them out. So you write the person's name uh, on, on the paper. Okay, I'll just uh, hide my work from uh, anyone that's cheating. Okay, so you've got your, you've got the person's name, okay, so what you will do, and it is, uh, again, traditional, to turn your, um, turn your page in an anti-clockwise direction, so that is, you know, away from the way the, the, uh, the hands on the, on the clock go, and uh, so you move it in an anti-clockwise direction, okay, and then what you would do is you would write your name or, or the intent of, you know, I would like you to just go away. So you write that over the top of, uh, of the paper. Now again, there's variations to this and you can, you can move it and change it the way that you would like it. Okay, so you write your name over the top as well, so that you are uh, what's known as in domination of, of that. So then you would, um, bring it up so that you can't, then you would uh, fold it and you're folding it away from you. So you're trying to get them to go away. You're, if you're doing something for prosperity, you're bringing it towards you. So you're folding it towards you. Okay. So you can fold it um, away from you. Now, if you don't end up doing the whole folding in front or, or away or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's not going to make or break your spell, okay? Uh, don't get hung up on some of the, the small little details, okay? They are added on to help you, to get you into that, that space, but you folding it one way or another and then you, you finish the spell and then you go, oh crap, I folded it the wrong way. You've just negated your spell, okay? Don't worry about those small little details, okay? When it comes to maybe bigger things, then I would maybe get worried, but things about this folding, it's not worth the, the aggravation. So you fold it away from you. Again, you're doing it anti-clockwise. So we'll fold it again away. And again, away. So three is always a nice number and it makes it a little, uh, Little, uh, nice little packet. Now I'm going to do it one more time for four. So that means that they are sealed in and uh, bound by 
matter by earth, by the number four, the number of earth. So we have our little, our little uh, person. Now when you have, you have as much as detail as you can when you're talking to the person. You have their name, you can have their date of birth, all of those different things. If you ha uh, are lucky enough that you maybe have um, some handwriting that they've actually signed their name on, you can use that piece of paper with their handwriting on it and then you can write your petition over the top of that. Uh, use your imagination. Um, if you don't have access to those sorts of things, oh, just a bit um, fuzzy there. If you don't have access to those sorts of things, then that's okay. You can make do with their name, their birthday, everything that you possibly can um, know and, and have about that person. So now we have our little chili. We'll get up nice and chilly. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit wrinkly, but that's okay. Uh, it helps with the, with what I'm doing. So what we'll do is we will just pierce the chili, open it up, so we open it up. You can see it's got all those nice hot little seeds in there yeah and it almost looks like a little person it's a bit um it's a bit gross but it actually looks almost like a heart okay All right. again for those vegans out there if you're not willing to use actual animal parts there are lots and lots of vegetables that uh yeah, look very similar so what we'll do is we place our little petition inside there. So now we have created our little person who has their information inside, inside the heart, the heart, the center of that person. Okay, now there's different things that you can do. You can actually bind that, that up. You can, um, you can put nails in there if you wanna get even really nasty, but it doesn't, you don't need it, you just place that in there. Now if you want a little bit extra oomph, as I said, you can add a little bit of oil. Now this is the, the, uh, the fuck off and die oil. So just a little bit of that and a little bit goes a long way. Don't need to be excessive. Less is more when it comes to this sort of thing. So you place that in there. Now the chili is like a little heart, but it also is, a chili is hot, it is, um, it, it is irritating. So you can also place, if you like, a little bit of cayenne pepper, um, other bits and pieces, lots of hot, um, irritating things inside this this chili. But I'm not going to worry about this at the moment, that's fine. The, uh, the, the, uh, the oil is, is quite adequate, but you add on what you feel that you need to put in there. So the adding on of the spiciness, the irritation, it makes them uncomfortable to be around you, okay? So the next thing that you, can, you do is you place it inside. You place it inside your container inside your little um, little jar all right now that person is sealed within the jar now there are two things that you can do you can sorry there's three things you can do you can do just simple and you can fill up the uh, where are we you can fill up this container around about half um, you can also fill it up almost to the top just so that it's um, where are we? <laughs> you can fill it up so that it uh, it gets to covering your, your chili. So if you've got a big, big chili, then you might want to just pack it down a little bit more. But as long as it's covering the chili, but you've got enough um, space at the top. So it's usually about half to three quarters. Now you can fill that up with water. Okay, so that's, that's uh, method one. You can also Fill it up with the four fees vinegar. That's method two. Method three is that you fill it up halfway with your urine. Okay. Now again, this is about domination. It is about making it very uncomfortable for that person to be in your space. 
um, and uh, it, yeah, so uh, up to you. Um, I personally, at the moment, don't particularly want to use my bodily fluids on the on the internet, so uh, it's not that channel. So then we'll fill it up, and as you can see, the Four Thieves vinegar look looks very much like someone who has um, a great need to go to the doctor if that was if that was in fact my urine um, go to the doctor right now um, ooh, that is uh, potent let's put that lid back on so you fill it um, enough that the uh, the little chili let's see the thing in there is is pretty well um, covered okay now this is the time that you would add any more charging towards it. Obviously, you will be thinking about um, bits and pieces as you go. You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be saying a little chant. You'll be doing whatever it is you need to do. Uh, or you can put it all together and then charge it. It is up to you, however you work. Um, either way is going to work. So you can add your little... So once you've charged it and it's uh, it's ready to go, you can say anything that you, you want, okay? It is up to you. I'm not going to give you a step-by-step, -step, you do this spell and this is how it's gonna go because it's going to be different for every single person. Every person is gonna have a different uh, need for this spell. So this is a spell that can be adapted for your need. So I'm not going to say you do this, you do this, and you do this. It's not a recipe book, okay? It is uh, a template, okay? So you can say words, you can say a spell, make up a spell, you can just visualize and put your intent in there, whatever you need. Once that's done, put the lid on, seal it up, it's ready to go. You put it in the freezer and uh, right in the back where you uh, forget about it. Okay, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a funny little joke that you put it behind the chicken, okay, in the freezer. Somewhere where you know that no one is going to actually start looking at it and going, all right, well, what's that? Someone's not going to pull, pull it out because what will happen is it will freeze and then that will start, it will take effect. Once this is taken out of the freezer, then that spell is then reversed, okay? Taking out of the freezer means that that person is unfrozen or that situation is unfrozen. So this is where you can have something where you don't want to have someone totally out of your life, but you may want them to be frozen out. So hope you enjoy that. Blessed be. If you like this video and want to see more, please click on the links provided. If you think this witchcraft thing may be for you, please subscribe. Blessed be.